Welcome to this week's episode of Life in the Rock Pool. This is the most common crab in the UK, Carcinus minus, also known as the green shore crab. It's almost becoming a catchphrase at this point, but as the name suggests, this crab tends to be a greenish colour. If we look at the underbelly, we can tell this crab is a male by the triangular abdominal flap. If this were a female, the flap would be rounder. If you ever see a female green shore crab with an orange blob on it, there's no need to worry, this is just a female with eggs, and put it straight back. The crab's body can grow up to 9cm in length, and they like to live at up to 70 meters depth. They're not picky eaters, they'll eat literally anything they can fit in their mouths. Seaweed, worms, dead crabs and fish, literally anything. Even though they're native to Britain, they've been listed as one of the 100 most invasive species in the world, being found in Australia, South Africa and on the west coasts of America. In these parts of the world they've even created cookbooks dedicated to the green shore crab. This is to encourage people to go out and catch, kill and cook the animal, so that hopefully their populations decrease and it benefits their native crabs. Even though in the UK it's become a staple of the rock pool and we love it, in other countries it's causing lots of damage to their ecosystems. That's it for this episode of Life in the Rock Pool. As usual, you can catch me here every second Wednesday at 6pm. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.